Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and welcome to my Tech Corner. Probably the first video in the Tech Corner series. Um, basically a reboot of official Andrew. Just making a refresh to my channel. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at this NEC Multisync FE770-BK CRT. This is specified as a BK model on here. It's on the label on the back, but the back is kind of hard to access with the tripod, so can't really show it. Manufacturing date on this is May 2002. It's much older than me. <laughs> it's on the range of 120 hertz vertical and horizontal is 75 kilohertz. It's not a good range. Still, it's a CRT. Um, it's actually a Mitsubishi Diamond Tron something. I don't remember the model. Um, it's just like a rebrand. It's just a Mitsubishi. It utilizes a Mitsubishi tube. So, I'm gonna be using this machine with a pair of this one. Not this one, this one. Um, this is the Pentium 4 2.26 gigahertz. Fujitsu Siemens like OEM mini desktop uh, with 512 megabytes of RAM and no graphics card. There is just an Intel Extreme Graphics. I need to get a graphics card, AGP specifically. So I'm gonna plug everything in and see it in action. All right, so I'm back up and running finally. Um, this footage that you see now is recorded the next day because I've experienced some troubles with my power cord which was plugged out a little from the wall making any contact because my mom pulled it out on accident. So I'm back up and running, everything is working now. And yeah, without further ado, let's turn this machine on. If I can reach it, there we go. This keyboard gets in my way. You know? So, as you can see, it's starting. I'm recording this over my phone, so for any scan lines, I just well, I apologize for that. Um, this CRT has a clicking issue because at least my unit has a clicking issue. Um, those are very common on CRTs. So basically, the flyback, which kind of looks like a suction cap that is on the like uh, main unit, um, has a little tiny hole, which uh, shorts the display and makes it blink and click. Uh, it does like a dim of the display for a short second, and it just like makes a clicking noise. So I'm running this machine on Windows 2000. Despite it's actually designed for XP, as you can see on this little sticker. Um, it's in Polish because I'm from Poland and it's just easier to use for me. <laughs> this PC does have an integrated speaker, which is really nice. Um, so I'm just gonna close down of it. We all know how to use computers. <laughs> Alright. I'm running this at currently 63.4 kilohertz, horizontal and vertical is 99.8 hertz, a lot higher than my actually a modern display. I also apologize for the wonky tripod action on here, you know, I just haven't recorded anything in a while now. So let me get closer to the... On display so you can see it better. I have a few games on here running this at 800 by 600 which is like the optimal resolution for CRTs. So let me go on to the web first. You might see that the colors are really nice and vibrant especially under 100 Hertz. Um, this CRT can go up to 1280 by 1024 but it runs at 65 hertz and it's a really flickering mess. Running here uh, an install of Pale Moon 
26.5 here I have open a website of friend of mine QG if you don't know QG just go into razorback95.com everything will be linked in the description so all the websites and our discord server Razorback which you can visit as well so yeah here's the website in action on a Pentium 4 let me go into a second website called luxuryarizona.net it's another website of my friend uh, Luxury Arizona Macintosh YouTuber and he's a lizard uh, of course no harm to you Luxury yeah so you can go into my website but I host it on NeoCities which requires HTML4 rather than HTML3 for LuxuryZona.net or Razorback95.com but yeah the URL is in the description and also on my channel dreamtragic.neocities.org and yeah you can view this website you have uh, the about us page every like picture on here is a uh, wallpaper from 98DE shit I have to update I have to change that shouldn't say 21 but 2020 my bad you have the news on page which I update from time to time no life updates yet you can also get the download of dream edition here by clicking on the picture there we go all of the screenshots and the Google Drive link. Here also we can visit our channel, but well, since this is an old version of Pale Moon, uh, it's kind of not working. Well, this browser doesn't have HTML5, so the videos won't work on here. And it takes a long ass time to load everything. My mouse is kind of glitching out because I use a wireless mouse from Tracer. And it doesn't like my shiny table. Yeah, here's my YouTube channel. Yeah, let's play some games. Right, so should start this off by a little simple game which is known as Chips Challenge. So yeah, it's just a game. Actually, the computer is kind of loud, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, this is like a game about collecting items and chips as VHS fan would say <laughs> nothing special a classic Windows 3.11 game it was made by epic not epic but epic at first but then it was ported by like one dude on Windows Yeah, it's kind of like a Sokoban, um, described as the genre. You can control the character by using arrow keys, or you can point and click and move with your mouse by clicking left click. My favorite game from childhood, at least as I remember from school days, is Santa Claus in Trouble. Uh, let me set it to English. <laughs> um, yeah, just like a little game created by Joy Mania Development. It was distributed for free as a kind of Merry Christmas special. And they delivered actually a very great game with good steering, although. Jumping is kind of wonky in here. Yeah, you do have double jump. Um, the control scheme is 
kind of strange, but it's easy to master. Um, you walk with arrow keys and rotate with like your mouse and jump by using left click. You can set the controls to keyboard only, but it's kind of um, not comfortable. Oh, we're not gonna hit the bonus. I also need to upload this video in kind of a reasonable time. Oh, let's actually go to the checkpoint here. <laughs> so yeah. This is Santa Claus in Trouble. Also, do you have Jazz Jack Rabbit 2? You may recognize this game. It's actually made by Epic. Um, the creators of Unreal or today's Fortnite. Uh, no, I won't be giving away a $19 Fortnite card. Because Fortnite is trash. I'm just gonna play like a quick stage. Just Jack Rabbit 2. It's actually kind of a improved version of Jack Rabbit. Yeah. yeah. Stand is very wonky since I have it on my knees. Oh, I could do anything for a video shot. I'm gonna quickly run through this stage. I'm not gonna even bother with points or enemies. <laughs> Kinda speedrun, dude. As they say. I'm not trying to be like Dream, Polish Dream. Oh, I'm gonna collect those. Uh, just the Krabby was kind of a Sonic for Windows PCs. He runs fast. He jumps. Oh yeah, you jump using the shift key. Uh, the control scheme on here is pretty strange. You run by holding Z. There we go. So, this is just a rabbit. Let me quit out. Thank you. Is it for graphical art or um, for working on animations? It's really great. For games. It's great also. So, I'm gonna conclude the episode here. That the NEC Multisync FE770 dash BK really worth trying out. I, I give it a thumbs up. I'm not gonna like rate it 0 out of 10 because I'm not like a critic, I just review it from my perspective. So, I close this system off. And yeah, I guess see you on the next episode of Entry Stick Corner. And for now, take care.